Hello everyone, welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new job offering, which is there through Gate 2024 in Odisha. Uh, so Odisha Power Transmission Corporation Limited, OPTCL, and uh, on the website of uh, Odisha Power Transmission Corporation Limited, we'll go over here www.optcl.co.in, and uh, here we will see the current openings. And uh, recruitment of management trainee electrical through gate 2024 has been released. So when we look at the advertisement, so advertisement over here, you can see everything regarding the job notification through gate 2024, the vacancies and reservations. So it, the vacancies are only for electrical engineers. Um, so there are total of 50 vacancies which have been released. Um, for unreserved category, there are 25, SEBC category, there are 2, SC category, uh, it is 7, ST category, 16. Total vacancies have been released. And number of positions for uh, servicemen, ex servicemen, and disabled people and sport persons also have been released because of some backlogs. There are some backlog vacancies as well. Now, we can also see the separate section which has been mentioned in regard of the disabilities what kind of disability it is there so you can look out for it now let's talk about the eligibility criteria so valid gate score for gate 2024 will be uh, considered and uh, the paper code is a double e so keep this in mind electronics communication student cannot apply for this particular position so if you um, are in you know Speculation that can you apply for this? No, you cannot apply for this. After this, your degree also has to be in either electrical or electrical and electronics engineering. So other fields are not eligible. So in some colleges, it is, let's say, electrical engineering. You can apply for it. If your BTEC is in a triple E branch, that is electrical and electronics domain, then also you can apply for this particular position. But keep this in mind, your gate paper must be in uh, double E, not EC, right? Um, and after that, at least 60% should be there in your passing marks and uh, minimum 60% or equivalent CGPA. It is considered for SCST category. This percentage is 50%. Uh, relaxation and concession. You can see a separate section has been mentioned. The age limit relaxations are mentioned for various categories and women as well and ex-servicemen also. Relaxation is there for five years and for PWBD category, there, are, there is 10 years of relaxation. So relaxations are also mentioned in this and after this, let's see the selection process. The selection process consists of marks obtained out of 100. Um, in electrical engineering gate 2024 and personal interview will be conducted over here. Now, candidates shall be shortlist, shortlisted category wise for personal interview based on their gate 2024 gate score. Normalized marks only will be considered over here. And weightage parameters we can see. Gate 2024 marks out of 100 has been given 90% weightage. So if your marks are very good, you don't need to much focus on interview as an in, again interview percentage is only 10 percent right so if your marks are good then it is uh, only a formality after this what are the health considerations everything is mentioned let's see the compensation package over here they are saying that during the training phase you'll be paid 50,000 rupees per month and after that uh, as per the pay scale matrix your uh, level double E2 level it is there. So 56,100 to 1 lakh 77,500 rupees with initial basic pay of 56,100 rupees will be paid to you. Right. So you can see it is very good and well above the Indian average. Now also you can see training and probation period. Uh, probation period will be of 12 months, which is very, very important again. So keep this in mind. After this service agreement bond will be there for 3 lakh rupees if you are leaving the job uh, after a specific amount of uh, before a specific amount of time then you are supposed to pay this bond of 3 lakh rupees right 
and uh, you can see important instructions for registration and application process please go through this application form it will be given to you in the description box below and the uh, uh, website link also will be given to you in the description box below please take care in mind while uh, filling up the application form what are the regarding um, possibilities of mistakes are there they have mentioned it separately important instructions so please go through it once again then only apply for the examination and see the payment details for the application fee it is uh, 1180 rupees for unreserved category uh, so 1000 plus 180 rupees is GST. After that, for SCST and PWBD category, it is 590 rupees. 90 rupees is GST inside of this. So, this final value is mentioned. This is including GST. After this, you can use various platforms of um, payment procedure. Keep this in mind whenever the documents are required this is your file size it is specifically mentioned for photograph which you will be uploading and the signature the dimensions are also mentioned so keep this in mind first of all it should be a scanned uh, copy keep the following documents ready for uh, ready before initiating online application form candidate shall upload the self attested scan copy of original all your documents should be self-attested you have to sign them personally over it and then only you have to upload it so this is one of the most important points and keep the file size and dimensions in your mind before filling the form and these are your other documents so date of birth 10th pass certificate is required document which is supporting so all over india it is generally considered as 10th certificate class 10 certificate after that essential qualification of pass certificate and mark sheet of your degree mark sheet uh, you have to uh, upload it a gate scorecard you have to upload it and specifically they have mentioned it should be a colored scan copy after that odia pass certificate should also be there so odia is important after that uh, up until b to point e you have to so all of these documents either should be in pdf form jpg form or jpeg format so please go through the essential other things as well. So let's see this 15th point over here. Candidates shall be required to bring a valid photo ID for the interview. So for your interviews, you have to carry your valid photo ID. And photocopies of original ident identification document shall not be acceptable. Candidates will not be permitted to appear for personal interview if the original and valid photo identification is not uh, presented along with gate 2024 admit card and scorecard so you have to take gate 2024 admit card scorecard and your uh, identification proof it can be aadhar card so probably aadhar card or let's say your driving license you can carry and other general information and instructions are also mentioned please go through this once again right and uh, there are some faqs also in regard of this you can also read that specifically. So candidates working in state, central government, PSUs, autonomous bodies of government shall apply through proper channel and required to produce no objection certificate at the time of interview fa uh, failing, which their candidature will not be considered. Right? And also whenever um, you have some queries, you can pursue recruitment at the rate optcl.co.in so in this again you can apply uh, you can uh, send an email in regard of any queries as well in future so please look out for the official notification in the description box below and uh, we'll also provide the link to the website as well thank you for watching